morning, guys. <clears throat> Today we're going to have our October session for um, covering the sacraments of baptism and first reconciliation specifically. Um, but first I wanted to go through a, an overview of all seven of the sacraments in the Catholic Church just to kind of get you comfortable with um, what they are and what they mean. Um, so the sacraments are something that confers um, grace in some way from God. Um, it's uh, a special gift that he's giving, a special strength. Um, and they're very important to us in the Catholic Church. They're ways that we mark significant events in a person's life. And they're ways that we invite God into those specific important events in people's lives. So the first sacrament that anyone in the Catholic Church will receive is baptism. Um, and that is where you are cleansed of what's called original sin and you are welcomed into the church as a new member. Um, original sin comes from the story of Adam and Eve in the Bible, the, in Genesis. The, um, they were the first uh, two people created. Um, God created Adam and then from Adam's rib he created Eve. And the two were the first married couple, um, man and woman together. And they lived in the Garden of Eden, and it was the most perfect, beautiful place, just like heaven. Um, God was with them. He walked with them, talked with them, communicated with them. Um, but he had one rule for them, that they couldn't eat the fruit of a certain tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and they disobeyed that rule. They broke it and they ate the fruit and God um, threw them out of Eden. And that is the very first sin that mankind ever created, or mankind ever did. And that created in everyone else original sin because everyone else is descended um, from, is the great, 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 a million times great um, grandchildren of Adam and Eve. So. That's, called, that's what original sin is, is it's the original sin that Adam and Eve, our ancestors, um, first did, and then that kind of carries on over to us. So baptism gets rid of that. Um, next, for most people who start off in the Catholic Church from the time that they were small, um, will next receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation. You have to have the sacrament of baptism first, however, to get that. So some people will receive that later on in life. Um, but reconciliation, it's also called penance or confession. It's a time when you sit down with your priest and you tell him um, the sins that you've done, the things you've done wrong, the things that you've said that were mean, um, anything that you've done that you shouldn't have done or anything that you didn't do that you should have. <clears throat> and then you are able to receive forgiveness and um, know that God has forgiven you and you usually get some type of um, penance or some type of, it's not really a punishment, it's just something that you need to do to help kind of focus you back in on God. Um, so after that, you would receive your Eucharist, which is First Communion. Um, and that's the time when you first receive the body and blood of Christ. Sometimes um, in adults we skip over reconciliation if you have not been baptized yet and go straight to Eucharist and then reconciliation after. Um, after the Eucharist there is confirmation which typically happens in 10th grade but can happen at any time throughout a person's life. Um, and confirmation is where you are choosing to be an adult member of the Catholic Church. At baptism, your parents have um, brought you into the church and have said that they're going to raise you a certain way in the church. But confirmation is your chance as an adult to say, yes, I know what all of this is about. I know what the Catholic Church is about, and I want to do this. I want to be a member of myself. Um, and then after that, there's three other sacraments that a person can receive in their lifetime. Um, one of them is the anointing of the sick. Um, it is when a person might be dealing with a serious illness, whether that's a 
physical illness like cancer or a mental illness like depression um, but they or an illness like addiction but they can be blessed by the priest and anointed with a sacred oil so that it will give them strength to um, fight whatever is ailing them or to accept whatever you know if their cancer is terminal which means like it's going it's going to kill them to help them accept that and to um, find peace in that then there's matrimony which is getting married your wedding and that is joining um, a man and woman together in marriage and that is it represents it's just like um, Jesus wedding his bride the church so that's what it represents to us. It's the closest thing on earth that we can get um, that shows us between two human beings what the love of Christ for the church is like and the love of the church for Christ. And then there's a sacrament that is the seventh one. It can only be received by men and it is the sacrament of holy orders and that is reserved for men who have made the decision to become priests, to be ordained. Um, so that is a quick overview of the seven sacraments that we have in the Catholic Church. Um, three of them together are called the um, sacraments of initiation. And those are baptism, because it brings you into the church as an infant, or as an um, older child or adult for the first time. There is Eucharist, so when you consume the body, body and blood of Christ for the first time. And then there's Confirmation which is where after you've um, learned a lot and had so much knowledge brought to you, um, where you are confirmed as an adult member of the church, where you you know what the church is about and you're making that decision. So they're initiation because they're bringing you into a new level of being in the Catholic Church. Um, reconciliation and anointing of the sick are often referred to as healing sacraments. Anointing of the sick is good for healing of the mind and body. Um, and reconciliation is good for healing of the soul because you have forgiveness. Um, holy orders and matrimony are similar in that in matrimony, um, a man and a woman marry each other. And in holy orders, a man basically marries himself to the church um, as a priest. So we are going to go a little bit in depth in a minute about uh, baptism and first reconciliation. Um, I know some of you have already been baptized, some of you have not. Some of you will receive first reconciliation soon. Those of you who have not been baptized yet will not receive it for a while. Um, but they're both typically the um, within the first, well, baptism is always the first sacrament you'll receive. And then reconciliation is usually, if not the second, then the third sacrament that you will receive. So they're very important to talk about. We're going to give each um, its own attention separately. Um, and then we're going to have a few activities to go along with that to just get familiar with um, those two sacraments especially.